Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is December 3rd. 2018 and today is Monday morning. So looking at the economic events of the day, just one event coming out and that's going to be at five o'clock South African time out of the United States, ISM manufacturing PMI number. Now this is on the back of the G20 summit over the weekend. So this is not such an important number, but there are any surprises. You do want to know that it's coming out. Now taking a look at the Forex items, Euro and the Australian dollar rally versus the US dollar, they gap up, but will this rally actually continue? We're going to take a look at that. In terms of the indices, Dow Jones gaps up this morning 470 points, and we're about above 26,000 once more. Now, we spoke about this. This would be the end of the year rally, and it's happening. It happens to be that there's a G20 summit, but the end of the year rally is happening, okay? And we're in the midst of that right now. And taking a look at the commodities, gold and oil both bounce, and kind of giving us a way for next year as to their direction as well. Now, taking a look at the stocks, Facebook and Amazon and Apple all bounce, as the market did, but and let's take a look at what we can expect from later today. So I just want to highlight this fact, okay? And the reason I say Apple and Facebook and Amazon all bounce, but, okay, the general market is much stronger than these stocks, okay? Which means that um, ultimately there's a relative weakness, okay? Even though the markets are going higher and they're strong, okay? The general market is strong. These sectors are getting weaker compared to the rest of the market. Now, I would have expected these stocks to be much higher than they are because if we look at the Dow Jones, we're going to jump into the Dow Jones. We're looking at it right now. It's trading right now at 26,000. As you can see right here, right there, we gapped up this morning. Okay, so we're really right back to where we were about three weeks ago. Okay, which is unbelievable because this move just by itself from here down to here is 2,000 points. OK, trading within 2000 points over a month is just unheard of. This is really indicative of a bearish bullish market. OK, and there and, and there's a lot of plug and chug here and a lot of, you know, pulling from both sides. Now, the, the, the issue is, is that the markets are strong. OK, we're only about a thousand points off of our all time highs, OK, which is right up here. And you see that we've closed this gap tremendously over the past just two weeks from, you know, from our massive sell-off from the beginning of November, around November 8th, down to uh, somewhat right before Thanksgiving, which was November 22nd-ish. And then from November 22nd until today, we've rallied tremendously. So unbelievable move in the Dow Jones. Now, what's not happening is that the stocks are not trading in tandem. If we look at Apple, it's dead. It should be somewhere up here in the 200-ish level, okay? So let's see if we get that today. Facebook did bounce to $140, but it didn't bounce to $170, $180, what I would have expected it, you know, relative to how much the Dow Jones bounced. Now, if I look at Amazon, same story. It bounced, but didn't bounce as sharply, okay? Out of all the three of them, Amazon is the strongest, okay? So if you're going to, you know, look to buy something, Amazon would be it, okay? So just be aware of that today, that if the Dow Jones sells off, it's quite natural because the rest of the market is not following suit, okay? Now, if we jump to the euro and the USD, you could see that we have are just above that 14-day moving average at 1367. Now, this is really, you know, another story between the Euro USD and the Aussie USD. Now, we've mentioned before that the Euro has been relatively weak versus the USD as opposed to the Aussie dollar. Now, if we look at the Aussie dollar, it bounced above, gapped up, and making new highs, okay, above our resistance level of 73.35, as you can see right here, and now we're trading at 73.66. So the thing is, I'm looking to see some sust sustenance here. So either continued buying into this week or maybe a sell-off, but holding this line at 73.35-ish level if we do retrace back. However, the Euro USD, I believe we're going to sell off. I believe that this was just a gap up, kind of being pushed up by the rest of the market. But I don't believe this is going to go higher than 1396-ish level on the high side. I think we're going to make a correctional move there. Now, jumping into gold, we're back to the upper range here. And gold usually sells off when the rest of the market rallies. So you could see here that there's a little bit of uncomfortability in the indices, in the Dow Jones rallying vis-a-vis -vis gold. Gold is usually a haven uh uh, investment, and you can see that it's rallying here, which kind of implies that it may even go higher 
after the new year. Now, I've mentioned that many times before, and we're closing in at this 1228-ish level, not to the 1230, 1240-ish level, which is our upper resistance, but if we do break this 1230-ish level, we can see it go back to the 1240-ish level. Now, looking at oil, this is really the major play here because this really sustained its support level. Didn't really break it. We said that it flirted with it last week. It looked like it wanted to break off. It did actually break this, but with just a wick, as you can see right there, that's just a wick, okay? And we've gapped up this morning and we're trading at 53.48. Next resistance level is right here at $54 and change, okay? Let's call it $54. Uh, so that's our next resistance level. So if we do close this area, that's where I would look actually for a little bit of a dip. Okay, so that's something to keep on your radar later today. So lots happening today. This conference will now be recorded. Lots happening as we get into the end of the year. Let's look for those rallies. Just be a little bit conservative as we, you know, jump into the rest of the week. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.